Hey, Booth, you guys copy? Less than one minute. Standing by. <clears throat> Annabelle, uh, this is a pursuit right uh, right now that is in the Redondo Beach area near Catalina and Gertruda. The surface streets going through uh, Redondo Beach at a relatively slow period right now. And all eyes right now are on this white van uh, at this particular time. Inside that vehicle, a single occupant, uh, male in his 30s, uh, believed to have uh, stolen this van out of the Long Beach area around 2.30 this afternoon. Uh, Police then picked up the pursuit from there, took it to downtown LA, and uh, it's a pursuit that has uh, traversed a number of different surface streets, the northbound 110, the 405, on back onto the 405 again, and then into this area that you see right now. Now again, it's been a relatively low speed uh, pursuit so far, but CHP now the lead agency over this uh, pursuit and uh, we've not seen any indication since we just pulled up overhead uh, that this individual has any intent on stopping. It's even unclear whether or not he even knows where he's going. He just seems to be kind of sauntering along at this particular time uh, through uh, the streets of Redondo Beach, Annabelle. Yeah, he's failing to yield at this time, and also uh, he seems to be adhering to uh, many of the, uh, the rules of the road, so to speak. Uh, we didn't see the pursuit earlier uh, when it first started, so it's unclear whether or not there were any near misses, whether or not uh, he may have been speeding at any particular time and maybe uh, uh, struck any other vehicles or anything like that. But so far, uh, from what we've seen just moments ago, us pulling overhead, uh, he has been adhering to stop signs. He's been uh, really, uh, for all intents and purposes, probably going below the posted speed limits uh, in various areas, uh, probably trying to uh, get uh, a lot of the attention off of him. But uh, all of that too late right now uh, as he continues uh, to uh, Go about, go about uh, through the Redondo Beach area uh, with that, no intention of really stopping, Annabelle. Well, and, uh, what's around in that area? Are any schools around in that area? Are we talking a residential area there? What do we see? It is a, it is a residential area. You see a number of high rises. You see a number of apartment buildings. He's not that far away from the beach. In fact, he's not that far from the water's edge. Uh, so just really cruising along. Uh, for, through the beach area, we haven't seen any pedestrians uh, that have been uh, put in jeopardy or in harm's way by any stretch of the imagination. But uh, we did hear earlier that there was approval by, and there was a spike uh, attempt right there. You saw that uh, okay. spike strip that they just deployed back there. Not sure whether or not it was successful or not. And that is actually feeds into what I was about to say. They did get approval uh, for a spike strip and a pit as well. Uh, but uh, that is all contingent upon the speed that this individual is going. And he may full well know that as well. Uh, some of these uh, uh, 
criminals and so forth have become very savvy in terms of what uh, law enforcement can do and what they can't do. And uh, we know from watching other pursuits that about 35 miles per hour or so is the, the focus, that's the target speed uh, by which they want to try and deploy these pit maneuvers and so forth. But right now, uh, I'm looking at my speedometer. He's going about 25 miles per hour or so and uh, still not yielding. Okay, and so, yes, and so that, that is, right, one of the tactics that they will be using, especially if he continues to drive at this speed. Um, you know, he's in the 20s, high 20s there, but you're right. They do have to get approval to lay down one of those spike strips, and, that, and that's very interesting to hear, Roland. Yes, and uh, I, I would not be surprised if, uh, as he uh, traverses the surface streets, we're probably going to need, we're probably going to see another spike strip attempt, but let's see what he's going to do here, because looks like uh, they may have tried to deploy one. Yes, they did. They tried to deploy another spike. He went, he saw it. He was going too slow, he saw it, it yeah. and he, he was able to dodge that. So uh, definitely they're going to have to uh, tactically put themselves in a position where they can uh, catch this individual by surprise, where he's not uh, having any expectation that those spike strips are going to be deployed. All right, so we've seen two already, uh, and it seems that both of them have, both attempts have failed. We did see some pedestrians there on the right. Um, and now, Roland, you mentioned that this car was, this van was reported stolen around the Long Beach area. Do we know whereabouts? We, we don't have those details uh, just yet. Uh, I'm sure our assignment desk is working to get those details for us. Uh, but right now, all we know is it was uh, apparently stolen or taken out of the uh, Long Beach area roughly about 2.30 this afternoon. And uh, this pursuit uh, was on at that particular point and taken to the downtown area. And uh, that is when uh, he started uh, traversing a number of freeways and surface streets. Um, and this uh, pursuit obviously continues. Now, we're seeing these are fairly narrow streets in this area. It's a beach city, narrow streets. Luckily, there doesn't seem, oh, he seems to be go. getting okay. out. He's running away. He's running. Right now, we have uh, CHP in pursuit, and he goes down right there. All right. Around that, uh, around that palm tree there. And you can see officers rushing in. They're taking him into custody right now and uh, handcuffing him. They'll search him to make sure he has no weapons on him right now. But uh, you can see uh, officers now. There's about uh, three of them right now, three patrol cars right now that have shown up on the scene. They're going to also go back and clear the van to make sure no one else is inside the van. But right now, it looks like this has come to a conclusion right here uh, on this. Uh, let's pull out of the shot here. It looks like he's... Uh, right near the beach actually right on george freeth way and esplanade in the redondo beach area this uh, subject now in custody by chp all right and that concludes that pursuit there we see him in handcuffs and truly we have to say this you know this turned out to be great news that he's now in handcuffs and that he didn't hurt anybody that we know of as of right now uh, and that he wasn't driving at this high rate of speed that we know some of these drivers do normally drive at so yeah great news right there and great work by the chp absolutely uh, no one hurt as you said that we are, are aware of uh, we certainly hope that bears out as we uh, investigate this a little bit more but uh, definitely uh, 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 what could have been a chaotic pursuit uh, has been brought to an end here in Redondo Beach.